Hi there. We are back to show you the questing phase in Guild Academies of Valeria. So, as we left off in the last video, we've finished the education phase. We've got graduates from each player. We've educated the students. And now we are going to uh, fix one thing that I didn't do right last time. I forgot to give the attendance bonuses to player number four. So, uh, that's going to earn one victory point. So, all four players right now are sitting at three victory points. It's going to give me one magic. And it's going to give me three gold. One, two, three. Okay. So, now, let's take a look at player number one. We do this in player order. Player number one has two... blue dice, two blue students, two holy students. And that will fulfill the needs of the of this first quest here, which requires a holy student and a any student. So that's fine. So this will give him he'll earn a bonus here. He'll get one magic and two victory points. So he gets one magic Two victory points for blue, setting him apart from the rest of the crowd right now. So, it's still blue's turn. He doesn't have any more graduates, but he can graduate some more people now that he has more magic. He's got four magic, and what I was saying earlier in the last video is that if I had four magic, I could graduate two more. So I'm going to spend these four magic, and I'm going to graduate, I'm going to turn this five up here into a graduate, and I'm going to turn this five over here into a graduate. And now I've got two more graduates. Okay, oh, when I finish this quest on the left over here, um, I also get to put one of my torches on there to show that I finished that. I can only do each quest once, so I cannot do another blue any, even though I've got the dice for a blue any, I cannot do this quest a second time. So I'm going to go ahead and do the orange any, which is this one right over here. Oops. So taking these dice, orange and any. Put a torch on there because I finished that quest and that gives me two coins and two victory points so two coins and two more victory points pulling out ahead all right now I cannot get any more graduates out of that right now so my questing is done but now I get to finish reconciling these quests I've got two torches, that one and that one. That means I get to move my questing token two spaces on this track. So I'll go over here and puts me on this space here, which will get me the bonuses here of a prestige tile and a council action. So the prestige tiles are these purple ones in the upper left corner of the board. Let's, uh, Zoom in that area a little bit so you can see these better. So, I probably went over these earlier, but I'm just going to do it again real quick. This top one here, the Holy Guild Hall, gives me points for every professor I've got and extra points for every holy professor I've got at the end of the game. That's what the little hourglass symbol means, end of the game. The Hammer and Helm Society will give me points for every tile I've got with the worker or the soldier guild icon. The Aquila's Depository does the exact same thing but for holy and shadow guild icons. And the High Priest Chapel 
gives me two points for everything adjacent to this tile that is also a holy tile. So let's zoom over here and look at my my guild as it's coming along. The Aquila Depositor or the um, the whole the high the high priest's uh, chapel could go right there, and it would tie in with this one here with this uh, icon here, and then I could get try and be careful and draft new tiles that have the holy icon to fill those other three spots. And if I do that, then I've you know I've maximized the scoring of possibilities there. Um, in fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. The other options I've got are to uh, get tiles that score on the uh, holy icon, because I've got two tiles that do that. Or I've got one that does on the, just on the uh, worker, t worker icon. But I like the, uh, the uh, opportunities I think I'm going to have with the high priest chapel. So, for my prestige draft, I'm going to grab the High Priest Chapel. I'm going to put it over here in exactly the space I said I would. And there. And lock that down. Also, it's a good positioning for this pedestal here, because I've got three of the four pieces for the pedestal. So, if I can find a good one to, finish, to fill in this empty space here that has a pedestal piece, that will get me another monument. Okay, so then I've got a... Let me just grab one of my banners and bring it up here to be ready for it. I've got the council action that's part of the, uh, the bonus there. So I'm going to take the banner and... Just to show you how this works, I'm going to put it right here on the uh, Master of Tuition. That'll give me a two coin bonus whenever I recruit a town classroom tile from the Castellan's dock. Now, the red player is already on that spot. So the red player will earn two victory points because I'm coming to a place he's already staked out. So I immediately come up here and move the red player up two points. Close up together. So he uh, is going to be very thankful, very happy with me for doing that, I'm sure. But sometimes, you know, you need to have that, that place, that particular bonus power. Now, there could, there could be up to four banners on this particular, on any, on any uh, minister. But you can only have one of your particular color. So I could, this one here could not be over there. So she goes back to where, where it was. Okay, so that wraps up the questing phase for the blue player. They put two torches out, they moved their token up two spaces, and they got the bonuses for doing that. Okay, so now these dice will go back up to the dice bag and we'll just slip them right here for now, just to show that, or just until I can put them away. All right. So now we go next to the red player. The red player is going to use the hmm, you know. He's going to use the gray and orange to fulfill this second quest here. So the shadow and the worker will go out and they will uh, curse the whiskey and amaranth. Amaranth is one of Valeria's enemies. Alright, in doing that they get to put a torch on there. Then they get two knowledge that they can put among any of the dice they have left over here. 
we're just going to put it all right there on this middle one. That now this knowledge that, that this knowledge that I got from this quest could be applied to any of my dice, any of my students, no matter where they were. So if I had a student left over in the gardens, I could apply this knowledge to that student. Only magic is only magic is restricted in having to affect students that are already in classrooms. Okay, so got two knowledge gets two victory points. So red moves up two victory points, and ties blue. See if blue hadn't gone down here, red would be behind him, but he's not. All right. And Red has no more graduates. With only one magic, he has no opportunity to get more graduates. So he's done. So he can take his one, his one and one dice here. Now he gets to move his token up one space on the questing uh, track. However, that does not make him reach the shaded area where the bonus is a lie. So he doesn't get anything extra this round. Okay, so he is now done with his questing as well. All right, let's slide up here to the yellow player. The yellow player has, he can either do the blue quest, that's this one here, because he has blue and anything, or he could do the worker quest over here, so the holy quest here or the worker quest here. Uh, because he has worker and anything. Um, he's going to do the holy quest. Only because it gives him magic. So that will give him one magic and two victory points. So one magic and two victory points. And a torch token. And then moving this up one. Now he's going to look at his dice and see if he can graduate anybody else. And with, with only three magic, he cannot graduate anyone else. He would have to graduate two dice, and these dice are much too low to be affected very well with only three. I can make one of them graduate, but I could not make them both graduate. So, he's done. Again, like the uh, red player, he gets nothing else there. Um, so then we take his dice off, and again, we'll put those in the bag in a little bit. All right, then we slide over here to the purple player. The purple player is going to use the gray and orange to get this one right here. So that's going to get him two knowledge, which he's going to apply to this five. That's going to make that five into a graduate. So, yay team. Got an extra graduate. And then, since it's still his turn, and he has magic, and he has a die that's very close to graduation up here, he's going to spend one more magic, turn this blue six into a graduate, move it down here, and then he's going to do the blue quest also. So that will, uh, he'll have torch tokens here and here. Um, he got this reward already, but now he needs to get this reward. No, he didn't get, he didn't get the, uh, didn't get the victory points yet. So he goes up here, victory points. Uh, now the blue quest, he gets one magic. And he gets two more victory points. And then he gets to move his questing token up two spaces. So now he's also on the shaded area. So he's going to get a 
prestige tile and a council action. Let's do the council action first. He's got a gray die up on his classroom. So he's going to put this over where the gray dice becomes wild for education in the next phase. Okay, so that's that. Now let's, now let's look at his quest, at his uh, uh, prestiges. First we need to fill the prestige line here. So here's the new one, the new card. That is like very similar to the other card there in that it gives points for all of your professors and it gives extra points for worker professors. He does not have any worker professors, so he's not really, you know, jazzed by that. He has one holy professor, so that's okay. He's got a lot of gray. Is there anything that gets him gray? This one here. This one will get him... Let me just move this down right here a little bit so we can see. This, this uh, Aquila's Depository here will get him points based on the holy uh, guild icon and the shadow guild icon. And if you look up at his tiles there, he's already got one, two, three, four of the shadow icons. So that's a really good one. And he has the holy icon too. So that's going to get him good points. So he's going to take Aquila's depository. And he's going to put it right here where I happen to, to accidentally set it. So that lines up and gives him a pedestal, a complete pedestal. So it gets him a, a uh, monument. And for his monument, he's going to take, uh, let's see, he's going to take the two magic. So he'll put that there and he'll go ahead and flip it and lock it down and take two magic. Okay, so that was all a very uh, productive round for him. All right, so he's done graduating, so we take all his dice out of there. And then stick them over here, keep them out of the way for the moment. Okay, um, so I'll, what I also like to do is to twist these, uh, oops, wrong buttons. Twist these uh, quest cards to show that uh, these quests have been completed. And during the restoration phase, we're going to get rid of the quests that have been completed and reveal the next one in the stack. The the uh, soldier quest nobody did, so the soldier quest will stick around until uh, until somebody completes the soldier quest. But right now, it's uh, it's still fair game. Uh, the other ones will have new quests revealed in a little while. So, let me go back to the full screen view. All right, this wraps up the questing phase. Everybody has quested, and everybody's gotten their points. Everyone's gotten their quest trackers and their bonuses. So that's all of it. All right. We're going to end this video here, and the next video will cover the restoration phase where we set up for the next round. Okay, thank you.